Hello, people. This is Warren L. Booker Jr. Thank you so much. We have reached 100 subscribers. Actually, as of today, it's 149. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's keep it going. Good day, people. It's your boy, Master Chef Warren L. Booker Jr. for another episode of the soon-to-be internationally known webcast, The Pot. Look, this is post 41, 41st birthday. Uh, it's a little bit of a struggle because the turnout was real. However, <clears throat> I dare not um share with us today uh the potluck i do want to give a special shout out to two people uh in my family on today today is the birthday my aunt mildred brown down there in packing town so if you know her give her a call if you see her tell her happy birthday and also my cousin Celicia cc wilson all the way in chicago illinois and on tomorrow my grandmother Juanita Booker will be celebrating her birthday as well. So happy birthday to all of my family and all of the July birthdays. Happy, 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 happy birthday. This is a special month. Shout out to all of the cancers. Um, we're gonna do it this month. With that being said, I do have a quick announcement. There will be a gospel video uh, shoot on July 16th. We're looking for a crowd of people, uh, service workers. We're looking for police officers, firemen, uh, any first responders, anybody that was on the front line, teachers, et cetera, uh, to meet with us on July 2022. So if you are interested, please inbox me and or uh, Tina Adams so can give you the shooting schedule. Also, if you are interested in possibly uh, dancing, we have a little bit of choreography that goes with the song that we're recording entitled, especially. Also, inbox. This is nothing hard, but we do need that to make this a success. And that's just me tapping into my other side of directing and producing. So I'm very excited. So it's not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, we'll be shooting a gospel music video by Tina Adams entitled, especially. So if you are interested, please inbox me and or her uh, for before, rather, the July 16th date. All right, let's move on to our appetizer. Again, people, I am so excited that you joined us today. Here's our appetizer. Worry looks around. Fear looks back. Faith looks up. Guilt looks down. But I look forward. And the author is unknown. So people, let's look forward. I know things get dim, they get dark but we have to continue to look for it. All righty, so there we are with the appetite. I know that the 4th of July holiday has just passed, and some people are celebrating, some are not, et cetera, because people do realize, as far as African-Americans, that is not our true Independence Day. Some people would call it the 15th day after Juneteenth, however it goes. A lot of people still were barbecuing, still eating, and um, some even participating and spending money. So to each his own, that's my opinion on that. And I've noticed it looked like my shirt is sparkling. People, I do not have a sparkling shirt on. What that is, I am in front of a green screen and this camera, oh, and I have a busy print on. So it's picking all of that up. So it looks like it's just shining all over and it's not. So hopefully um, that's not a distraction to you. But we know that the 4th of July just passed and everybody was popping. Uh, firecrackers and you know i know we upgraded from when i was a kid we no longer do bottle rockets you know we do big stuff we have our work show even last night here in my subdivision we were some boom boom you know i almost panicked but then i remember it's still that season some people are tired of it some people want it to be over they started early and they're going to finish late and i didn't mind them doing it on tuesday because that was actually the true holiday which was my um birthday but oh michael look at michael y'all and then we'll talk about Shoot fireworks. Don't really know what he's doing. <laughs> oh god, he's running with it. Mike, stop running. Stop running, Michael. Oh, stop running. Stop running, Michael. Michael, quit running. Quit running. <laughs> Roxanne, you're funny. 
<clears throat> I tell you, I love my people. This is what um, Roxanne had to say about my shirt. <laughs> she said, I thought uh, you thought you were Michael Jackson or Prince with that shirt on. And I promise you, it's just a basic blue shirt with white polka dots on it. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy at all. But going back to Michael. Now, whoever did Michael like that was wrong. You would not that. Now, Michael has taken off. Thank God he didn't hold it underneath his face because that could have turned out bad. So the lesson in this, be careful. Be careful. Be careful with fireworks. And I say that again because this could have <laughs> Not good. I don't know how many people were hit, how many clothes were burned, how many windows probably were, uh, were uh, bursting out by that. Because uh, we used to have wars back in the day with fireworks, and yeah, it will shoot out a bathroom window. It will shoot out a bathroom window. I know that for a fact. So hopefully nobody was seriously injured. I'm hoping not. But a lot of you guys are probably the Fourth of July is over, so you don't have to worry about fireworks again until hmm, maybe. All right, we're going to keep it moving because this is a smorgasbord edition. I ran across this on social media, and I think that this guy was speaking real truth, real truth. So I thought it would be befitting to share this with you. Today, if your child lived to see 23, they done lived a long lifespan. Sad to say, some of these girls are hurting. You know why? Because they mama try to compete with them instead of be their mama. You want to dress like your daughter. You want to shake it like your daughter. I'm sorry, sister, you ain't got it no more. That's your child. Raise her the right way. Get out the clubs with your children. Stop smoking drugs with your children. Stop trying to have a man the same age as your child. As he stated, if you make it to 23, that's a blessing. So I said, sit before you rather. I'm not standing. Um, as a 40 sound funny saying I'm so used to saying 40, but as a 41 year old, I've realized that I'm blessed. It used to be if you made it to 25 and you were not dead or in prison. However, the age has now decreased. And he went on and talking about just the way that uh, we're being raised and the way that we're living in our homes. Like parents, we need you to be parents. We grandmothers, we need you to be grandmothers. While grandmothers are too busy causing themselves everything except a grandmother, uh, whoever you want to be, Didi, Kaka, whatever, whatever you want to be called. But we need that big mama role back in our family. And parents, we do need you to be families because what happens at home affects what people do out in this world. What happens in the home affects what the kids do uh, at the school. And oftentimes we try to blame it on everyone else, but that's not um, accurate. It's, it's your fault. It's your responsibility to raise your children. All right, moving on to Brother T.D. Jakes. He's made a couple appearances uh, here on the Can I thank him for that? Let's see what he say. You stop calling me, I stop expecting you. I text you, you don't text me back, I stop expecting it. I stop expecting it to control my frustration. I can't control your call, but I can control my frustration. And I refuse to give you that much power over me. So once you show me that I can't expect it, I can't be frustrated by that I don't expect. I realized that that can be a mistake. I expect people to treat me the same way and do the same thing and respond the way that I were someone. That's not the case. We're all individuals. People have different ways of communicating and doing certain things. But the key thing that he pointed out, if you no longer expect it, then you can't, you won't get frustrated. You won't get frustrated. So I just do unto others as I would have them do unto me. However, that's without expectation, without expectation. So, you know, that's that. And I thought that that was very befitting. Now we have another preacher coming on. We have another preacher coming on. Oh, Creflo Dollar. He's kind of changed the way that he thinks and sees about tithes. So let's see 
what he has to say about this. And then I want to hear back from you guys about your thoughts as it relates to this. And hello, Sharonda Booker. Hello, Tammy Rose. Hello, Marco. Roxanne, thank you all for joining. I appreciate it. I, uh, I want to start off by saying to you that I'm still growing and that the teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in, in humility to correct some things that I've taught for years and believed for years, but could never under, understand it clearly because I had not yet been confronted with the gospel of grace, which has made the difference. I won't apologize because if it wasn't for me going down that route, I would have never ended up where I am right now. But I will say that I have no shame at all at saying to you, throw away every book, every tape, and every video I ever did on the subject of tithing unless it lines up with this. I've, I've done some corrective teaching in the, in, the, in the last 10 years, but not to the degree of what we're getting ready to do now. So why is this important? Because religion is sustained by two factors, fear and guilt. And if it's one subject that the church has used for a long time, to keep people in fear and guilt, it is in that subject of tithing. And it has to be corrected, and it's got to be corrected now. I may lose some friends, preachers may not ever invite me no more, but I think I've already been through that, so it doesn't matter. And I know that this is a very sensitive topic for some. some. I know that tithes, I've been taught about tithes my entire life of um, being in church and of course we ten percent um, and of course I have he heard some other teachings and people have now had an awakening or there are some people that say that's in the Old Testament and no longer, no longer under that law um, you know and then even there are portions of tithes of course they were tied in different things now uh, I mean they were tied in different things back then and of course it's something different now because I mean mainly we have money we're not tithing barley and, and, and fruit and things like that. Uh, I've even heard say, or they lack, or they fail to point out that the fact that a tithe could be your time, your talent. We have now seem to be focused on money. So I'm just curious if you guys have something to say about that. What are your thoughts? You have this, this preacher who is always preaching prosperity. He's even had jets and stuff uh, bought, and all of a sudden, he has this awakening and he changes his mind. It kind of about Carlton Pearson when his belief system kind of changed. Um, you know, of course, we know council culture exists in the church as well. So, I mean, like he said, it, it's already happened to him before. He doesn't care. Um, you know, and throw away the books that I preached about that, so on and so forth. So I'm just curious. That's been, I've seen that float across my timeline quite a bit. And uh, I just thought that that would be fitting and interesting to share. I don't see any comments in the comment section. However, uh, should some appear, then I will discuss that. All right, so move something that's a little bit more light. Uh, I think everybody on here probably has caught an Uber or rode in an Uber. Um, it it's, uh, can be quite interesting. Um, but now... We are advancing to another level. We're advancing to another level like none other. I don't know about this. I'm going to just share the video here, and then we'll go back and just talk about that. Yo, I'm fully in this car all the way. Good morning, John. Trader Doe's start ride. Oh, my, dude. I'm just going to All right, start riding. No, nah, dog. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Yo, this is why this is the wildest thing I've ever seen. I'm in a whole parking lot. Uh-uh. Y'all better quit playing with folks, man. I'm just in. Look. 
It's just driving me. It's a real car. This is this is the wildest thing I've ever seen. Arrive in seven minutes at your destination. I'm in the bag. I'm in the whole. There's a car seat in here. There's another car seat. It's a mini. Listen, y'all can't say nothing to me. If, hey, if somebody cuts you off, I ain't driving, bro. Nobody drive. This is the scariest thing I've ever been a part of. I cannot stress this enough. There is no driver in this vehicle. We just rolling. I mean, <laughs> this is the wildest thing I've ever participated in in my whole life. Connected to rider support. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. Hi, this is Imani with Lima Rider Support. Just calling in to remind you that you are required to wear your seatbelt while riding in the Lima. Oh, I gotta wear a seatbelt? Yes, sir. How'd y'all know I wasn't right wearing one? Um, I can see through the vehicle. Oh, you? Yeah, all right. I'm wearing one now. Yeah, girl, there's no driver in here. <laughs> Would you ride? Would you ride in a driverless car that's operated by uh, a computer or robot or whatever or satellite? And then the fact that they can see through the car, see in the car to see that you don't have your seatbelt on. Oh, I'm all about technology, but I don't uh, I don't know about that. Would y'all ride? Nakisha, would you ride? Miss Bell, would you ride? Roxanne, would you ride? Tammy, Sharonda, would you ride? And my mama's over there on YouTube. Mama, would you ride in a car without a driver that was operated? Like that summer rain, thanks for joining. Would you ride in a car, a Uber car that just have your name up there and, and takes you where you need to go? I mean, that's where we're headed. I even know that there are some uh, restaurants now, robots bring you your food. So we're getting there. We're getting there. It's getting us ready. It's all the self checkout. They have one person that oversees probably about eight to 10 cashiers. I don't know. I don't know. But when the hustle said, no, I'm good on that. I'm sorry. I need a human in there to get me, or, I mean, to drive. I know the Teslas, you know, um, they're driving by themselves, but yeah, I, uh, I just don't know about that. Roxanne said no. Tandy said no. And as of right now, you know, I'm with you on that. And backing up, Miss Beverly stated, good evening, Master Shelf. Is Creflo dollar fifty cents half, brother? I think so. I think so. I think so. Because that's probably what he'll be left with, 50 cents after this. I don't know, because, you know, church people can be, whoo, cutthroat. And she don't think so. Um, that's right, Boomer the Hustle. We're definitely getting there. I mean, everywhere you go is computerized, et cetera. And I got kind of out of order just a little bit, so I want to back up. Of course, we know there was a shooting here recently, and I'm so tired of talking about these, but it's just our America. And that was a situation where that was who was age 25. He was targeted for a traffic violation. And some are saying that there was a gun or something that was in the car. He was fleeing away. I mean, he was fleeing away from the car, so that was no longer a threat. He was uh, attempted to flee a traffic stop. He was shot 60 times, died at the scene. Then we have Bobby Cremo. Or crime on, who was age 22, who murdered six and wounded 30. He attempted to flee a traffic stop. He was taken into custody without injury. Why does this keep happening? Why is there constantly a difference? I have been, this has been, I guess, a part of um, my ministry, a part of my, my, um, purpose in life with the film Strange Fruit because this keeps happening. Why is there a difference? The only difference I see is skin color. They can fight and take the gun and drive away. And oftentimes it's taken into custody without injury. Someone that looks like Jalen and myself, they're shot 60 times, they're shot six times or one time, and they're dead. And there's a march. And they are T-shirts, <clears throat> just like in Strange Fruit. I even rewrote the song edition of it that says, "American streets bear a strange fruit. Bodies in the streets and mothers crying at their feet." Black bodies cooling in the cold morgue still. Strange fruit. 
decorate America. Streets. It keeps happening. Then, I see this. A Michigan police officer images of black males holding guns as target practice. Practice. Practicing it. Then, breaking news. Timothy Lowman, the Cleveland police officer who shot and killed Tamir Rice, and that was a little boy that had a toy gun in the park, has been hired as a officer uh, in, in PA, according to Mayor David Wilcox. It keeps happening. It keeps happening. When will this stop? When will this stop? All right. I want to go back to uh, the comments. I want to go to the comments and see what you guys are saying about that. Going back to the some rain say that I'm not riding and nothing that don't have to drive it. All right. All right. Uh, everything is computerized, even social security cards for certain people. Uh, ever imagine that? So we're definitely hearing that. And speaking of the situations of like Jalen and all the other African American males that have been killed, or African Americans period that have been killed because of the color of their skin, Tammy Rose, I definitely agree. Ben Crump, Al Sharpton, and Jesse Jackson, them coming, and you better can believe. Summer Rain stated, "I just seen a post that had a comparison uh, to us versus them. We were unarmed." and killed and the others were apprehended with no incident and it keeps happening it keeps happening and i'm tired i am tired the fact that our skin color makes them feel that they have a reason to kill us when we do a little to no harm when there's a win in a comparison and it just keeps happening and people i don't know about y'all i'm tired i'm tired it's been going on uh forever and that but that doesn't make it okay and sam cook said don't come. We're still waiting on that change. <clears throat> All right, and going to something a little lighter. That's what I like about these smorgasbords. We can kind of hit heavy things and kind of move on um, with that. That was a lady on a date. I'm assuming that she was cute. She had on, you know, had put in her good teeth and all that stuff. And I think she failed to put it in some glue. How are you doing, Melody Floyd? This girl here eating some boneless wings. <laughs> <laughs> Deep, straight, fell out. Hopefully she went on a date. Hopefully she went on a date because that probably would have ended uh, right after that say pay for the meal and you know I, I, i'll talk to you later i'll talk to you later but you couldn't tell her she wasn't cute she had a teeth in but they were not in good so the the key to this is make sure that you put your teeth in good put your glue in make sure that on the side whatever it takes now there are some people that have trust issues and i can't i'll be honest and say i have trust issues because people will just let you down people play a lot you know i so on and so forth um but what would you have done if this was you Waterbed prank on my wife. Two hours later. It's not there, so I have to follow the thing. I don't know, so I'm waiting on Amazon to call me back. <laughs> Now, what would you have, what would you have done if that was you in that situation? You think you're going up to your air mattress? I don't know why they ain't in a nice house, so I can tell that the room's nice. Why are you on the air mattress? But you know, you know, things happen. You have to wait till you get ready. But he was definitely wrong for that. I'm quite sure she's gonna think twice and probably pat the bed before she gets in it, uh, before then. But yes, he was. Uh, Summer say I really, I have really bad trust issues and will cut you off like you forgot to pay your water bill. They will cut you off. They happened to me one time. Uh, we would be fighting, right? Rolling around in the water. I will baptize you. It won't be in the name of Jesus. 
Oh, I see your request. Uh, tell you, I will play that video again. <laughs> <laughs> Teeth just gone. Teeth just falling out. They just out. Talking about people, I want to clarify this again. I see that my shirt is just dancing and sparkling, and I do not have on a sparkly shirt. Ooh, when I move close, you can see that it's really not. It's just a blue shirt with polka dots, but the key to film do not wear busy patterns, and because they have on this busy pattern, they should dance and all over. But it's my birthday when I could do that. And what's up, Dr. Tanya Stevens Walker, my classmate, my friend. I'm so excited. She has successfully defended her dissertation, and she is now Dr. Tanya Stevens Walker. So proud of you, so proud of you, so proud of you. You're representing well. All righty. Now, I have to preface this next video because I would be in trouble because, um, Yes, she did want to finish those wings. She did. She did want to finish those wings. Are you liking Nakisha? Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have to make sure that this comes with a disclaimer. This is a TikTok video I did the other night because I was bored. However, the person that you see in this video is not my actual grandmother. Neither one of them. Not my not grandma. Not grandma. But I thought. It was fun. Hey, my grandbaby. Hey, grandma. Get your ass up. I'm finna come pick you up for church. Baby. You heard me, baby. This shit, the damn fro. That ain't nobody but the damn devil. And I've done that before. Been on FaceTime, somebody asked me something crazy, just. And that like it froze. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't feeling going to church that day. So uh, don't y'all be Come on, go ahead and go to the church house. There's uh, no better place than being in the house of the Lord. So go ahead and go to the church house. Um, I, that's all that I have. That's all I'm serving today. Now, I do have a dessert that I'm going to share. Now, see if you guys have anything else in the comments. Here goes. Six-year-olds laugh an average of 300 times a day. Adults only 15 to 100 times a day. B6 again. B6 again. Again, six year old laughing average 100 times a day. Adults only laugh 15 to 20 times a day. B6 again. Now, I don't know. I haven't ever counted the amount of times that I that I actually laugh, but it's a lot. I, I laugh at myself. Things happen and I laugh at myself. But, and me and my friend, when we're around each other, it's always something to laugh about. But overall, laughter is good for the soul. What it's saying, have fun. Sometimes we become so serious as adults and we're so inundated with uh, the things of the world that we forget to laugh. Laughter is food for the soul. So make sure that you uh, laugh. Patrice Gregory, thank you so much for tuning in. Nakisha, that's right, Nakisha, you're six. I know with us, we're laughing all the time. We're going to say strange fruit answer skin color. Yeah, and that's what it boils down to. And uh, Tammy Rose, they blame it on the devil. We blame everything over the devil, even if it's something that we wanted to do. But we definitely do blame it on the devil. Just one other quick reminder. I will be directing a video shoot, gospel music video shoot, on July 6th. Uh, we have a little bit of choreography, and we need a crowd for the song that we're recording that's written uh, and sang and performed by Tina Adams, uh, entitled Espec so uh, if you are interested, please inbox me. If you know her, inbox her. Um, and we can give you more information about the video shoot. This is something major. So people don't wait for things to happen. This is a time that something is happening right here in the city of Little Rock, but we'll reach beyond. So if you are interested, please inbox me so we can plug you in and let you be a part of this great uh, production. If there's nothing else to claim our attention, uh, I see you, uh, Tanya. That's right. You should come and be a part. Um, if there's not that question, all that I have. That's all that I have, people. This has been another smorgasbord edition of the Potluck. I am, I am uh, happy that you guys join me. And my grandmother stated the strange fruit answered my question, which is skin color. Yes, that's what it boils down to. That is so. And unfortunately, American streets 
oftentimes bear um, this strange fruit. And going out on another note, since I have my grandmother on here, and again, I have this is not my real grandmother, not on either side. We're going to close out. With this. Hey, my grandbaby. Hey, grandma. Get your ass up. I'm finna go pick you up for church. Baby. You heard me, baby. This shit, that damn fro. That ain't nobody but the damn devil. All right. Again, that's not my grandma. Grandma, I know you're watching. I see you on here coming. That's not true, of course. You know that. Uh, Tanya say the next topic, Coach Lucas from Gremlin. I think, is that the volleyball coach or something that? I don't know anything about it, but I can look into it and maybe we can discuss it on uh, next week. Thank you so much, Summer. Wishing me a happy 41st birthday. Again, we have definitely celebrated all weekend. Uh, yesterday, I did my best to recover, uh, and I'm still trying to recover. But And I've noticed as you get older, as you know, the things do not uh, work the way that they used to work, or you can't bounce back from things uh, how you used to. But uh, that's all right. Again, you're blessed to be here. All my July birthdays, happy birthday. Special shout out to my Aunt Mildred and to my cousin Cece because today is actually their birthday. People be blessed. And thank you for, so much for tuning in because I realized that you don't have to do so. So I appreciate it. I will see you again next week. Enjoy your weekend. Be blessed and be safe. It's your boy, Warren L. Booker Jr. signing off.